Cuisine Korea, the first place we are visiting is Jack's Steak with its beautifully refreshing scenery. The dishes are as impressive as the clean-cut interior. It is a restaurant especially boasting of New York-style steak. In new style food, we went to Namyangju, the area alive with the delights of the countryside. Soil and wood. With this building made of soil and wood, this restaurant is full of heartwarming decorations. Unique dishes made of porcelain kiln. You will find them here at Cuisine Korea. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Yi, your guide of Cuisine Korea. More and more people are moving into the city and into the suburbs. And frequently they're forgetting what it used to be like and living freely like in the countryside. But today I'm going to take us back to the dirt roads and the sweet smell of the countryside. Shall we start? The fresh air and the lush trees. I can feel the green scenery truly clearing up my thoughts. Mother Nature at its best, a stress-free environment where you can relax and enjoy a peaceful time. Now that we have reacquainted ourselves, I guess it's time to go search for some delicious items. Today's theme is something you're quite familiar with, meat dishes. Follow me! In order to reach today's restaurant, we have to first take the Chayuro Road. Jack Steak is located near Imjingak. When you enter Paju Sculpture Park, there is a transparent two-story building, and that's the restaurant. First, you have to remember the way from Seoul that leads you to Chayuro Road. Go in the direction of Imjingak and turn right at the motel near Samnam Park. Turn left at Gyeongcheon, and you will easily find the restaurant. Jack Steak. Traditional New York style steak house located at Paju. When you enter this picturesque building, the classic interior puts you at ease. A special experience waits you inside. The restaurant is decorated with beautiful sculptures and you will feel as if you've come to an art gallery. Lovely, isn't it? Jack's steak harmonizing with refreshing nature. Through the window, you can taste the delights of the countryside. You can also enjoy a glass of wine or whiskey. Jack's Steak, a restaurant specializing in no other than steaks. It is just the place to enjoy a romantic date. We invite you to this wonderful taste. Jack's Steak is always filled with customers wanting to enjoy a stylish meal. Thanks to its tender steaks, the restaurant is a popular place for family gatherings. I wonder what the customers think about the restaurant. Uh, 제가 뭐 스테이크를 그렇게 즐겨 먹는 편은 아닌데 여기 와서 먹어 보고 또 여기 자주 오게 됐어요. 고기가 되게 부드럽고요. 그리고 이렇게 누린내 같은 게 전혀 없고 담백하고 맛있어요. 어, 가슴까지 너무 시원해지는 것 같아요. 정원 풍경도 너무 아름답고요. 예, 이 근처에는 풍경들이 참 아름답거든요. 앞에 보이시는 게 임진강이 흐르고요. 날씨가 좋으면 저 멀리 북한 땅도 보여요. 와, 어, 여기도 특이한 거 많네요. There are many sculptures that are on display on the first floor of the restaurant. 여기 굉장히 독특한 작품들이 이렇게 있는 것 같은데 어떤 의미가 있는지. 예, 인간의 탄생부터 지금까지 표현한 작품인데요. 인생의 희노애락을 담고 있습니다. Wow, this restaurant actually seems more like a combination of an art museum and a beautiful resort. I can't wait to see how their elegant dishes are served, but before, let's learn a little bit more about our theme dish. Meat supplies plenty of protein. 
There are many ways of cooking them, but I guess the main reason why people enjoy meat dishes is because of its taste. As treatment and cooking skills of meat developed, it became one of the most popular menus at the dinner table. Now to get a real taste of the meat. Jack Steak lets you enjoy New York style steak using cheese and various sauces. It's difficult to choose from so many different steaks that are available here, boasting of its different tastes. Today's menu that I have selected are Flame Mignon Steak topped with cheese and tender tasting skirt steak. The man guarding the elegant taste of Jack Steak is the main chef, Mr. Park Chung Hwan. The skills he mastered during the 17 years of creating steaks will be revealed today. Shall we first take a look at the ingredients? Cheese and filet mignon are just the basics. We need tomatoes, olive oil, and herbs. The meat is cut into a slightly thick piece. Vegetables like peppers are sliced maintaining their shape. Next, add parsley powder and breadcrumbs to soften butter and mix everything together. Season the meat with salt and black pepper and then cook as flambe. Place the meat with the surface just cooked on an oven plate and cook again lightly. Next for the vegetables, melt the butter well and add prepared onions, mushrooms and peppers then fry together. It is important to cook quickly to bring out the colors of the vegetables. Top the meat with the vegetables in an artsy manner. Tomato sauce is fried lightly to bring out the taste. Now pour plenty of the sauce over the meat. Doesn't it look delicious? Add mozzarella cheese and it's complete. Cook everything together once more lightly just until the cheese melts. Next is the butter sauce. We just have to melt it over the hot pan. The brown sauce is also warmed. The two sauces are first sprinkled over the plate. Finally, the cooked steak is placed over the sauce. It really looks like a work of art. When additional vegetables are added, the dish is complete. For the skirt steak, squash, thyme, olive oil and such are used. We can't leave out spices and tomato sauce either. The second food is anchangsal steak. Yes, anchangsal steak is the meat and squash are first cut into large pieces. Sprinkle spice over the meat and cook over the grill. Cook only until the surface just turns brown. Put it in the oven and cook once more. Cook the squash together with the herb in the frying pan.
Now add tomato sauce over the squash and sprinkle cheese. Place the whole dish in the oven and cook. When the cheese has melted properly, then the squash is ready. Carefully place it on the plate. Over the meat, sprinkle spice that is made by mixing breadcrumbs, herbs, and so on. Place it in the oven once more and cook for just a short while. Meanwhile, warm the brown sauce and pour around the squash. Now finally, place the cooked meat on the plate. Decorate it with garnish and the juicy steak is ready. Wow, I have a full table in front of me. And with a view like this, my appetite is growing by the minute. So let me begin. Let me start here with the tenderloin steak. Mm. Mm. The fragrance of the Parmesan cheese just erupts in your mouth. And the beef is really, really tender. For my second dish, the outside skirt steak. Here we go. Mm. Unlike the first dish, this dish, the beef is a little bit more chewier. There are, of course, other dishes available at the restaurant. First, the mirror steak. Take out the bone and cook it over the grill. Place it on the plate and serve together with fresh and fried vegetables. The savory taste of this miro steak is especially popular among women. When talking about fish steaks, you can't leave out salmon. Just cook the surface and put mustard sauce in the middle. Wrap and roll it in flour dough into shapes of candies. Now cook it in the oven until the dough turns brownish. Finish it off with the white sauce containing chopped peppers. Tender salmon inside a crispy skin, very attractive. There are different steaks for different parts of the meat. Because they are prepared after cooking over the grill, even its fragrance is maintained. The meat is placed on top of pre-prepared butter sauce and served together with brown sauce. The mouth-watering steaks. They are ever so popular for special taste that fills the mouth. How about escargot cooked together with chopped mushrooms? Place it in the tortilla cups and sprinkle the sauce. The chewy escargot is especially praised by foreign customers. The ever so nutritional vegetable soup. Fry onions and carrots together. Then grate them in the mixer. The yellow soup. Sprinkle crispy breadcrumbs and parsley over the soup. The smooth taste is quite the best. It's a restaurant memorable for its traditional New York style steak and other stylish dishes. Some say getting a bite to eat with someone you want to get close with is a good way of opening that door. They also say you can learn a lot about that person just by watching the way they eat. Now here's someone who I've shared several meals with, and that's Jennifer with New Style Food. Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer with Cuisine Korea. How have you been keeping your promises with your children or your family? Well, I'm sure you've said this before. I promise to eat out with you this time. Or, oh, I'm sorry, but I promise to spend some valuable time with you this time. Well, it sure is not easy to keep promises like that. 
So for those of you, I will show you to a very special place where you can enjoy delicious meals in a beautiful garden. If you're ready, let's take off. Soil and Wood, situated in Namyeongju City on the outskirts of Seoul. Shall we check its location on the map? You must first look for the Chungmai Three-Way Street in Namyeongju City. When you enter the road in front of the overpass, you will soon find Soil and Wood. The restaurant Soil and Wood introduces Korean-style barbecue dishes. The house and steps made of wood makes it look just like a country house in the forest. The trees and the large garden in front of the restaurant provide a nice resting place, as seen difficult to find in this city. Fresh organic vegetables grow in the kitchen garden at the back. The restaurant is full of charming porcelains. With the clay wall and decorations going so well together, the interior becomes even more delightful. This restaurant was built with materials taken from a country house. You can sense the hard work and love of the couple that owns this place. The owner personally created these beautiful colored porcelains. Here, they bake porcelains about twice a year, which becomes special occasions for the customers. The nature seen through the wide window. The restaurant's soil and wood possess a style and taste with a special deepness. Soil and Wood is a restaurant where people like to bring their children, so this place is always bustling with customers who come with their families. <목소리도> 감자를 모닥불에 구워서 먹어요. 감자를 구워서 어떻게 가서 먹으면 되게 맛있어요. 주인의 인상처럼 그 돌솥 같은 것도 너무 맛있고요. 그 김치도 맛있
When knife marks are made in various parts of the boneless duck meat, they prevent the meat from shrinking while cooking. Now the duck meat placed on a gridiron goes into the hot clay kiln. Cover the entrance with bricks and bake for about one hour. In the kiln, the grease drains out completely from the meat. How wonderful it would taste with red pepper sauce. Before you make the dish, you can use the dish with the dish with the dish. Yes, the dish with 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 the dish. 손님들이 굉장히 많이 찾으시고요. 네. 다 드신 후에 물을 부어서 숭늉을 드시는 그 맛이 아주 일품인 음식이에요. For the seafood tulsopap, ingredients such as shrimps, top shells, onions, and shiitake mushrooms are needed. Of course, you must soak the rice in water. First, place the rice in the stone pot and mix in a little bit of black rice. The shiitake mushrooms are diced. Other ingredients are also in the same size. Add ingredients such as vegetables and seafood into the stone pot. Mix well with a spatula. Everything is ready, so it's time to cook the rice. Cover the stone pot and cook over a strong fire. When the rice is nearly cooked, place nuts and mushrooms as decorations and cook over a low fire. Finally, the seafood tursopap is complete. Now what you want to do is add some soy sauce to the rice, mix it slightly, and then here it goes into my mouth. Wow, the rice is cooked well, and I'd like to call it fragrance, mm, the fragrance of the sea. It's like a combination of the rice, really cooked rice, and the seafood. Mm, it's absolutely delicious. It's like the sea is alive. It's really good. Mmm. Okay, now I'll try the duck. But then many people think that duck is really greasy or oily. But then let's find out if it really is. Dip it in the sauce. Mmm. Wow. It's not greasy at all. Mmm. -mm. Because it was cooked in the kiln. Wow. It's not greasy at all. The layer on the top, the skin, it's really crispy and at the same time a bit chewy, but the meat, it's really tender. Trust me, very, very tender. There are many other dishes served at soil and wood. The pork is cut into thick pieces and cooked. Hard charcoals are used to bring out the best taste. Pot herbs picked straight from the mountains. They are fried lightly to maintain its natural taste. Each of these wild greens is prepared with the greatest care. Put plenty of these pot herbs and mix with red pepper paste, and you won't need anything else. The taste that is just like jelly. The fresh tasting Cheongpomuk is mixed with soy sauce to create a very special taste. The thick pajeon is another popular menu. The dishes that let you feel mother's love. How about letting yourself loose in their charm? Today's children are busy with their studies, so they don't have much time to run or play within nature. And that makes me think once again about the saying that children learn many things from nature. For example, they learn about endurance from the life of wildflowers and also about the law of nature from the trees that bear fruit each season. I think it would be a great idea for you to go out to a near place with your family and have some great time. It'll be a valuable experience. Well, that's all we have for you today on Cuisine Korea, and we'll see you again next time. Please join us again. Goodbye. <laughs>